Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel now. In this section, we have a question over here. Now, it's still a normal distribution, as you can see. Um, so let's look at it. Now, solution. So we have let S approximate N. So this is basically a normal distribution. That is then again from the central limit uh, formulas that we did previously. So you can see that S is approximating N is equal to that. So when we compare the, this to that, then we can find what mu is and what the standard deviation is, right? So let's do that and see. So comparing what we are given over here in the question to that of the normal distribution formula, we have mu year and then standard deviation. So in this case, we have the mu year being equal to 10 and then standard deviation being equal to 25 in this case now the question says that we should compute a that is the probability that s is less or equal to 20 so we have the probability that s is less or equal to 20. now in solving this probability we have to use the z uh, distribution that is is, is the z score normal distribution so then again we are using this formula here as you can see because we are given what s is we are giving new and then we are also given the standard deviation so basically what we do is to just find the z and that is going to be the probability so in this case we have uh, this to be the probability that z here is less or equal to the formula you know the formula is s minus the mu over um, the standard deviation so remember then again this is a normal distribution so we are not using um, the sample distribution formula the question is a normal distribution so we have p z here less than now what is x s here is giving us 20 here minus mu mu from the question we have to be 10 and the standard deviation over 25 here so we will compute that we should have z less or equal to 0 0.4 right now what we do is now is to go to the z table because we have to find the probability that z is less or equal to 0 0.4 so we go to the z table and then we look out for um this 0 0.4 by 0 0.00 now this is how we do it um you take the first part which is on the right hand side of the table of the z table you take the value to be 0 0.4 and then the next one what you do is to consider um the first two values that is before and after the point the values that you get to be zero but the next one to be uh, you take that value so if for instance this were to be 0 0.21 we take it as 0 0.21 by then we take this to be zero point and then we take this one to be zero and then we consider this to be one so this this is how we do it so from here we have 0 0.4 by 0 point we take this one to be zero and already this place is zero so 0 0.00 so we look we look for this on the table that is on the right hand side we look for 0 0.4 and at the top there we look for 0 0.00 so when we do that we realize that um doing this we are just going to have on the table as you can see on the screen as you can see on the screen we can have um this to be uh, 0 0.65 5422 two. all right now i'm um, yeah so i'm going to show you guys um a simple way to do this on the calculator that is um the simple way is basically from here that is without you checking the table to see this value but then just use the calculator and then getting this answer here so i have the calculator here and then what i'm going to do is now go to mode so you go to mode and then you choose start so start is number three so i'm going to choose uh, number three here and then when you choose number three just um, ac and then you cancel it so now your uh, calculator is in the mode in the start mode now when you get to the start mode just uh, press shift and then move to one year one year is start so just uh, press on one and then when you press on one it takes you to um, these variables here so we have type data sum variable distribution and then minimum and then maximum so now we are doing normal distribution so we go to number five now 
with this values here p q r and t now what it means is that if your z here is less than whatever value that you are giving over here if it is less than the value use p if z is greater than the value use um so use um r in this case so the calculator uh, that so since our z here is less than is less than um 0 0.4 which means that we are going to use p so when you get to this part just press on one and then it gives you the p that now our the value we got here was um 0 0.4 so if it is 0 0.4 you just put in 0 0.4 and then uh, enter then it gives you the value that we got over here which was what we, we look on on the table so if you compare this to um what is on your screen you realize that it is still like the same answer but this one it has just been approximated right so there's another way to do it on the calculator now let's look at the b part the b part says that what is the probability that um s is greater than um, five so f is greater than five then we have into bracket z greater than you know the formula is x which is five here minus the mu the mu from the question is still 10 divided by um, the standard deviation which is 25 here and then we have the probability that z is greater than so when we compute that we should get um, negative 0 0.2 in this case so now then again um, it is greater than so if it is greater than then we do 1 minus the probability that z is um, um, less than uh, negative 0 0.2 so you can just do this using the, calcul uh, the calculator but then let's use the table first and then we'll see how it works so um, one minus um, if you look at this on the calculator uh, on the screen on the um, from the table um, if you look at zero uh, negative 0 0.25 so we are looking at negative 0 0.2 by negative 0 0.00 so this is what we look at on the calculator so we look at 0 0.2 by 0 0.2 on the left hand side on, on the right hand side by 0 0.00 at the top there and then you trace it to that probability and then when you trace it you realize that the probability there is just 0 0.420740 and then from here you just subtract one minus that is just going to give us uh, so let me put the answer here it's just going to give us 0 0.5 seven nine two six now let's look at the calculator how we can use the calculator in solving this now since z is greater than the value because you can as you can see from here z is greater than whatever we add over here so it's, if z is greater than that then which means that um using that we go to shift one already it is in the start mode remember you always put it in the start mode before you do the distribution so you go to number five distribution and then because it is greater we use r which is number three and then what we are going to do is to just put in negative 0 0.2 and so so doing that then we can have uh, something like this r into brackets negative 0 0.2 and then it is so we realize that it is the same thing as what we add over here what we add over here so that is another way to do it on the calculator to just to check your answer also okay so let's look at the next one so the c part says that what is the probability so we are looking at the probability what is the probability that 12 is less or equal to s which is also less or equal to 15 right so in this case um we have um the probability of that so we have p into bracket um you know and it becomes 12 less than x here less than z because we are putting everything in the z table okay so from here we have um the probability that so since x in this case is 12 it becomes 12 minus we have the mu which is 10 divided by 25 less or equal to z which is also less or equal to 
there's 15 minus 10 here so we have two parts of it over 25 here and then the probability is just going to be the first part is just uh, 0 0.08 less than z here which is also less than less or equal to um, that and that is going to be at 0 0.2 now doing this on the so we have to check this on the table so on the table we check 0 0.0 by so the first one is 0 0.0 the second one will be 0 0.08 so 0 0.0 on the left hand side and then 0 0.08 at the top and over here too we check 0 0.0 0 0.2 by 0 0.00 that's what we check so when we check the whole of that we realize that this part alone gives us 0 0.531881 which is less which is so it says the probability now it is out of the probability so we have this to be 0 0.531881 minus the whole of that then so as you can see on the screen too when we check this part too we have this to be um 0 0.579260 and then when we subtract this we should have negative 0 0.047379 here Alright, so with the calculator, we use P, for this one, we have two distributions, that is um, between 12 and also 15, then we add um, 0 0.08 and then 0 0.02. So for that one, um, we use P on both sides, so we have the distribution of P here, and then we can have the first part is 0 0.08. So 0 0.08 is giving us um, the 0 0.53. 1881 and then we have 0 0.2 here to be um, the 0 0.59260 then you subtract then you add you get the final answer so that's um, another way to do it on the calculator also so thank you very much for joining me in this session i hope this session was helpful please like subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified anytime i post a new video Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next section which will still be your normal distribution but then also in a different way. So I'll see you there.